Hello. In this video, we are going to be looking at how to use masks to control various attributes in our hair and fur grooms using the hair and fur tools in Houdini. So here I've got my scene, which has a cat, and you can see that she's got varying lengths of fur around the feet, top of the head, and back of the ears. And we're going to see how we can paint directly on the mesh to control the length of her coat. So start from scratch, well almost scratch. Here I've got my geometry node that is calling in the cat mesh that I want to use. If you want to grab yours, just hit tab key and type geometry. Double click to go inside and then find the location of your file that you want to use. I'm going to hit the U key to jump back out and delete my geo node because I already have my cat. And we'll double click to go inside. So here I've got my mesh that I'm calling in and then I've got some groups to split the mesh up so that, for example, I won't have fur on the eyeballs because that would be strange. And then I've got an output node. So I'm going to hit the U key to go back out. And in the hair utils tab, I'm going to click on add fur and select my cat and hit the enter key. Follow the instructions below, the enter key again. And there's my cat with the fur groom, which has fur on the eyes. And you're probably wondering, didn't she just say that we didn't want to have fur on the eyes? Yes, I did. And the only reason why we we're having the fur on the eyes is because when we selected the cat surface uh, to apply the fur to, we selected everything in here. So in the cat groom node, if we scroll to the top, oops, let's select that. You can see that the top path is pointing to cat, but we didn't pick the group that we want to assign the fur to. So let's do that body only. And now the furry eyes are gone. There's a bit of fur left, but that's because of the fur in the eye sockets, which we're going to paint out. So I'm just going to turn off hair gen for now, visibility on it. And in the cat groom, I'm just going to increase the density to 3000. So the next thing we're going to do is with the guide groom selected, we're going to set the direction of the fur. So click on guide process and click on initialize guides. And now the fur is kind of going in along the direction that is natural. And here we have certain settings that we can use to control the flow or the direction of the fur. And if you have UVs, you can also have these uh, controls here to adjust the rotation of it. Um, I'm going to just reduce the fur, the wind amount and also the lift. And now we are ready to paint out our length mask. So we are going to click on set length and create a guide process for the length of the fur. And here it is. If we just zoom in here, you can see there's our guide initialize and here's our guide process node for the length of the coat. So here we can adjust the overall length. I'm going to reduce it to something smaller like so. And now where it says no override on this drop down menu, we're going to choose skin attribute. And here's the button for us to paint the areas where we want the fur to be short or none at all. And so I'm just going to set a few things to begin with. The foreground color I'm going to change to black. And background color I'm going to set to white. Now if we click on foreground color and click on accumulate to stencil, we can flood the black across the entire body of the cat, which will set the length to zero, which is not what we want. So if we click on the background color and flood it with white. Now we're just going to be able to paint out the areas where we don't want to have fur, which is our foreground color. And I'm just going to actually turn on visibility on paint length node so I can see the colors. And in the visualize mode, I'm going to click on grayscale. And just for personal preference, I'm going to turn off visibility on the cat geometry node so I can see it here. Now I can just paint out the areas where I don't want to have the fur. And I can change the opacity so that it's kind of more gradual transition. And you can change the size of your brush by middle mouse button scrolling. Something like so. And if we painted something like where it's too much, and we want to undo that, we can just use the middle mouse button to paint it back to the white. So that's why we were changing the colors in the beginning. Now, if I pull a Martha Stewart, 
there's my cat with the painted mask of the length of the guide groom. And if I set the visibility flag back on the guide process, I can see that here it's kind of uniform and then around the areas it kind of just like blends out to nothing, which is what we want. And on top of this mask, we can also layer that with a noise mask, or we can also actually control the overall amount of, of how much we want this mask to influence the length of the coat, which is pretty cool. And then you can layer that with noise and also equally have the master control of how much of that you want it to affect your length or whichever attribute like bend or frizz or clumping and so on and so forth. In addition to hand painting your mask, you can also load in textures that you've done previously if you so choose. And that's how you can use masks to control the various attributes in your hair and fur grooms using the hair and fur tools in Houdini. Thanks for watching.